Hey guys, it's Sarah Taylor. This is a 20 by 20 inch acrylic on canvas called Temple. And I'll go through the colors here to start. And this is a 20 by 20 inch acrylic or um, gallery wrapped canvas. So this is actually just a satin um, house paint. And it's um, abalone is the color. That's a uh, nice kind of grumbacher burnt umber with some Mars Black. That's a, a Deco Art Metallics Gold. It's not the Extreme Sheen. Uh, this is um, a really pretty blue color. It's some Cerulean Blues uh, and some Thalo Green. That is interesting. It's a, it's a copper color, but I actually mixed in a little bit of um, untinted Base 3 house paint. And then that's Golden Fluid Acrylic Haynes Gray mixed with Jenkins Green, which turns into a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Those two mixed are just beautiful. And I mixed everything with Floetrol, uh, a little bit of Artist Loft pouring medium, and a tiny bit of polycrylic varnish. Um, so we're kind of putting, this is kind of bloomy, um, but I'm not really going for an actual bloom. I think that I've tried to do bloom and it's just not my thing but I do like this kind of lacing cells um, and I'm working with Gail Bernston coming up uh, we're gonna be doing some things together so this is I'm just experimenting with a great method um, that we're gonna be kind of collaborating on actually so that's exciting news but um, it's the cell activator that uh, she worked on with uh, Tina Sacco, and it's what it is is one part Amsterdam acrylic paint to three parts Floetrol. And we all use American Floetrol because that's what we have. I know that Aussie Floetrol is supposed to really be effective for this method as well. So, what I did is I put that pillow of house paint down, and then I put my lines of paint across that, and I'm going to be swiping over dipping a palette knife into that cell activator, um, the black oxide Amsterdam mixed with Floetrol, and swiping it over on top of the paints and then over onto the house paint. And you end up with this really kind of unique lacing and cell effect. It's, it's really, really beautiful. Um, and it's kind of a simpler way and also a very versatile way to get some cells and some lacing into any painting. Uh, I've thought about how this could be applied to just, you know, if you did like a really beautiful straight pour or a ring pour or a dirty, dirty cup, or even, you know, if you have a, a pretty Dutch pour that needs some lacing and some cells, uh, you can, you know, and, and Gail calls it her great big schmears. Um, she's using, and she uses kind of a big, uh, like pie server kind of shaped tool. Um, so yeah, definitely keep an eye out for her videos with this technique. And I actually just saw um, Heather Matter, Mater, Heather Mater. She was also working with um, some Aussie Floetrol mixed with uh, this Amsterdam paint as well. So it's definitely be, uh, being kind of experimented with in our art community and I can see why it's really fun. Um, yeah, so this, uh, <laughs> this painting takes kind of a turn. Um, I, I needed to get it off both corners because of just for composition and it turned into not quite what I was anticipating, but I really, really love it. It's very subtle and I'll, I'll likely resin the painting just to elevate it because it is pretty simplistic in its nature. But I think it'd look really lovely like in a bathroom that has some marble countertops. It would really play well. Um, just in a really nice, beautiful, subtle application. So I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe. I've got more coming soon. And yeah, check out my older works. I've definitely been trying to tell a story, you know, with my artwork journey and um, I go a lot of different places and I certainly don't have one technique that's my favorite. I, uh, I love so many different 
methods with fluid art and love experimenting. And uh, you know, big canvas is kind of my thing. So I'm gonna be doing <clears throat> something on a larger canvas um, as a collab with Gail. And yeah, keep your eyes out for that. It's gonna be great. And please, uh, yeah, please subscribe. Check me out on Instagram too. Um, it's a fun community there of artists. It's at sarahtaylor.modernart. And thank you for your support. Uh, it means the world. That's really why I do this. I love, I just love painting and I love feedback and community and um, entertaining. And also, you know, when I feel like I'm inspiring others, it is greatly inspiring to me to continue with this sort of work. So yeah, we'll talk soon. Have a beautiful afternoon or morning or evening, wherever you are watching from. And please do take great care. And we will see you soon. Thanks.